first thing you guys are going to do is open up content manager go to settings content manager general and then enable testing access starting with the head physics we're going to go to that first link in the description for head physics and then download that and then once that's downloaded open it up and then go to your ac root folder and then go to extension lua cockpit camera and then drag that folder in there now in content manager go to settings custom shaders patch neck effects and set the script to ac head physics so these are all my settings that i use but just keep in mind that it's going to be different with basically every car um so the main the main slider you guys want to adjust if it's like if it's too much is just this overall motion scale slider um if you want your head to tilt more around turns it'll be this one i have it on negative um so your head turns into the turn instead of the opposite way um but sometimes that needs to be changed because some cars you, your head doesn't turn at all so just just kind of play around with it it's i think it's a lot easier to understand than the uh standard neck effect settings that they're actually like comprehensible i think once you guys have that set up download the ilp filter from the second link in the description and once you guys have that downloaded open that and then go to your ac root and just drag those files in and the last thing is reshade so download the reshade zip file from the uh, description and extract it and then run the reshade installer And then go to your AC root folder and just delete this whole reshade shaders folder and drag this one in. In AC, click on post process filter and then select ILP natural. And for the settings, I didn't change much. I turned that up and then I turned reflections up, turned down uh, CSP lights. Turn that up. Turn that all the way up. But that's it for that. And then for my onboard settings, I I have it at 85 FOV, and then I just turn the pitch as far as it'll go, and then I'll just you know move that in. A little bit and then for reshade honestly it's such a good pp filter that you don't really need one but if you want to use one uh i made a few different presets this is the main one but then i made a few different cam reshades supposed to like sort of simulate a gopro um and then i made one for night I think that's pretty much it. Uh, here, I'll do a little day-night transition for you. One more thing, actually, if you guys are getting lag, uh, I did make these settings on a 4080, so it's probably not optimized very well. Uh, just come over to graphic adjustments and lower this slider right here. That should improve FPS quite a bit. Actually, instead of that, uh, come over here and just pick one of these. Like even best quality, you'll probably get like a 20 FPS boost. Uh, also, in video settings, you can change these. Um, but I think that's pretty much it. I think I covered everything. If I didn't, just let me know in the comments and I'll put it in the description. But yeah, thanks for watching guys.